there. What are we going to do with that? You'll see. Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the boat when you drop it. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. He never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I suspect Mr. Fingers. Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know rustling, just piano playing. After we found the note to the rustler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B flat. But really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Is it Cousin Calico? She could have arranged to wrestle her own hogfish. Why would she want to do that? Um, for insurance money? I haven't got any wrestling insurance. Oh. Who is Mr. Big? I bet it was those two construction workers. They probably need the extra money for coffee. Does uh, rustling pay more than construction work? I doubt it. No, the construction workers are innocent. Mr. Big must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yep, that was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim, under Sea Marshal. <laughs> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the undersea coffee break statutes. <coughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? Maybe it was the squids. They're all pretty suspicious looking. Nonsense! We squids would never take something that didn't belong to us. I raised these boys upright. That's right, she did. Yipper! I'm sure you did. No, it's not any of the squids. Oh! Well then who is it? Who's Mr. Big? Was it Stella from the Soda Loon? If she has a rustling business on the side, 
That might explain how she can afford to give out sodas on the house. Oh, come now. It certainly wasn't me. And soda is a lot cheaper than you think. Really? Very. Yes, it wasn't Stella. She's an honest businesswoman. Okay, but then who's the mastermind? Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, <clears throat> it was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hot fish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no. I just, um... So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <gasps> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see since folks don't need very many buckles around here. I thought I might have better luck as a hawkfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hat! Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play.
Oh, Stewball was a racehorse when she was mine. Yeah. 